Hi, yes, hello, ignore my ugly everything. I am a hot mess. There, I look zero difference. So not like I'm angry or anything, don't get me wrong. This is something I personally just want to talk about. And it's to do with shocking depression, because that's all I'm about lately. <laughs> no, um... But here are just some things to s do not ever say to anyone who has depression or anxiety. Trust me from experience, is the worst thing you can say to someone. For me, the number one, the number one thing I hate when people say to me when I am in my lowest and are, you know, really dark and depressed times and my depression seems me the most is uh, you know, I like the happier you. I prefer the happier you. I liked it when you were happy. Can you bring back the happy Jada? <laughs> like, it's the worst thing you can say to someone. Because all my brain is saying is, now nah, shit, Sherlock, I want the happy version of me too. But you're stuck with the depressed, shitty one. So, either stay or leave. It's as simple as that. It's not like you can flip on a switch and, oh look, I'm happy again. Hi, hello, how are you? I'm sorry, my switch was just broken and stuck on the down, which was sad. No. That is not how that shit works. How it works is that you are happy sometimes. You are sad sometimes. You are depressed sometimes. You are ecstatic sometimes. You don't get to pick when those times are. No, 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 no. It could be your best friend's wedding. It don't matter. You could be depressed as shit. It don't matter. Number two, the number another thing I hear as well was when people say to me like, "Oh, I really wish I could help you, but I just don't know how." But you know, if you want to talk, you can talk. But you know, I'm not gonna be much help. Rips out hair. That frustrates me because I'm like, maybe I just want to talk to you, or better yet, maybe I just want to lie with you. Maybe even better, maybe I just want to lock myself in my room, sit in my beanbag. Oh look, I'm doing that now. Not everyone likes to talk. Not everyone likes to be alone. Everyone is different with how it works. For me, if it's too extreme, I want to be locked in my room by myself. Or playing music. Or if someone is with me, I'm comfortable enough, give me a hug. It doesn't fix my depression. It just makes it that much more easier to handle when I'm having that moment. It just bugs me when people are like I don't know how to help with your depression but like you know I'm here right yeah I know you're here girl like I see you right in front of me that don't matter okay talk with me if I don't want you to talk to me I will say don't talk to me don't assume mm. number three when someone is having an anxiety attack or is just very like that's the only way I can describe it, it's like an anxiety attack or like they're, you can see them slowly plummeting from like happy to depressed even as well as having an anxiety attack do not just stand there and be like I don't know what to do tell me how I can help you boy if I'm having an anxiety attack the last thing on my mind is how to tell someone else to help me my brain is spiraling in dark and deep depressing thoughts it is not telling me my brain is not telling me oh tell the person who's standing right in front of me who has maybe experienced something very similar to this how to help me because no my brain is just going to be like shut down and say everything wrong that is with you so for example when I have one of these moments as I call them I'm not thinking hey person in front of me just hug me because that would be fine no my brain is saying that I am worthless I'm horrible I'm bad I shouldn't have friends, I should be locked in my room and starved to death. My brain spirals into despair. It doesn't be like, hmm, yeah, let's just go like sit down, get a, a facial and I'll be all G. Let's tell the person that. Nah, 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 nah. That not how it work, okay? Hmm. Another thing that just really irks me is when people are like, 
Because you, you could just be like, oh, I'm kind of feeling sad today. But the elder just say, oh, so you're depressed? Just because I have depression doesn't mean I'm depressed all the times that I'm not happy. I could be happy. I could be just meh. I could be just sad. That doesn't mean I'm depressed. It's two different things. Depressed, to, to break it down, depression, how I have it, or for me in particular, it's depression, is suicidal thoughts and negative comments towards myself. Sad, you're just feeling glum. You're feeling a bit, oh, like it's not a good day. No negative thoughts of, to that extreme. So just don't assume that as soon as they're not happy, they have to be depressed. Because we might not be. When you see something quite upset me, like anxiety wise, and you'll do nothing but continue to make me more agita agitated and just like freak. And then you come up later being like, mm, I saw you were not doing well. Let's have a hug and tell you everything's okay. Where was that bullshit five minutes ago when you did all that stuff? If you can see me getting agitated, no matter how true it is, you need to be like, alright, let's stop, relax, have a debrief for a second, and then you can bring back the bullshit. Okay? Because with me, once I'm a bit, mm, it's very easy to go from this to being like, oh, I've, I've messed up to I'm a complete and utter failure. Compared to being, oh, I've messed up to, oh, you know, everything's fine. Do not make me skyrocket because it's a lot easier than making me happier. Just, and I know it's not exactly as simple as being like, you should know me. Sometimes you don't know and that's fine. Sometimes you can't tell and that's fine. I'm not saying you have to know every single thing that's wrong with me. If you knew that, then could you be my other therapist as well? Because that would be swell. Because most of the time, I don't know what's going on. Most of the times, I just want to lie on my floor, listen to music, ignore the world. But you can't do that. Because that's not how life works, is it? Mm. Another thing that frustrates me is if something has happened, like I've had an anxiety attack, or I've had a moment, or I'm just feeling really depressed, do not and I cannot stress this enough, do not say to me everything's going to be okay or alright. Last I checked, everything is not going to be okay because you cannot fix my thoughts that are in my head. You cannot make everyday sunshines and rainbows. You cannot change the world, okay? Everything is not going to be okay. And even when I'm in that moment, telling me everything's going to be okay makes it worse because for me in particular, it makes it worse because then I go into a spiral of, well, everything should be okay. Why aren't I okay? Why is this all my fault? Why, 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 why? But I And I get worse. It's not a good thing to say. I know you mean well. Don't say it. It's as simple as that. This is a tip because this has been kind of a sad video. If you've got someone, a friend, a colleague, or someone you know, whatever, just talk to them, okay? Okay, I know. Okay, I know it changed. I had to get rid of the phone. Um, but yeah. Oh, sorry. Tip. Talk to whoever has, whatever, it doesn't have to be depression or anxiety, it can be whatever. Ask them how, well, what makes them feel better? It could be as simple as, talk to me. It could be as simple as, give me a hug, it could be... Simple as just get me a glass of water, or it could be extreme as you need to go into my phone, go on the app, play a meditation, put on the headphones, and just sit with me until the meditation's done. It could be any of those things. There has been multiple times in my life when I was in St. John, I got so overwhelmed and frustrated and just depressed where I literally would run, well, not run off, I would walk off, go into the kitchen, just stand there. Take a couple of deep breaths, put on the water, and just let it run for a minute. And I'd be fine. Because water makes me calm. Water makes me relaxed and happy and not content, but just very like, <sighs> okay, life is good again. 
it's something that helps me. Maybe it helps you. I don't know. Everyone's different and that's perfectly fine. So I do want to end this video here. Sorry it's a bit dark and deep and all of that. But I did want to talk. So thank you for letting me talk about it. Anyway. Dry out guys in the next video. Whoop. Sarcasm out. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. I'm okay. I'm stabilizing I think is the correct word. I'll be okay. Love you all. Yes.